in this video series we are looking into spring cloud config server what is it and how we can use it in a distributed system like microservices so in the previous video we have seen that all the theories about cloud config server what is why do we need it and all those stuff right so it's time we move to demo part right so we are going to see how we can create a cloud config server if you remember this is the diagram that i already have explained you the main focus of this video is this part right cloud config server and git so we are basically going to build the cloud config server and what we will be doing we will be doing we will be reading the properties or yaml files from the git repo repositories using cloud config server right we will be changing the details at runtime and we will be seeing the changes reflecting in the rest endpoint right so this git services creation and interaction of this cloud server is not the scope of the part is not the scope of this video we will see in the subsequent video focusing on cloud config server right so let's go ahead and create this so as usual we will be moving to start spring.io to create the spring boot project right so this is the starter that they have so gradle project java and latest version what is there you can choose any version that you want what is available so we are changing here gl dm uh, what artifact name config server so i'm giving it name config server right for dependencies we need config server right so type config server so we have this so this and uh, apart from this we need actuator spring boot actuator so this is it we need only all this stuff right and we are ready to create our config server so go ahead and generate the project this is the project that i have extracted uh, that is just created from this spring dot start dot spring dot io so i'm just opening it with intellij idea is open now so it is refreshing the things to download the dependencies that we have mentioned in build.grad right so this is the part this is the plugins part this is the the stuffs repositories that it needs from where to download the dependencies all these so starter actuator and config server be mentioned in start.spring.io right so start test it comes by default so this is the dependency manager for cloud right so as it is part of the cloud so it needs the cloud version right so this cloud version is mentioned here greenwich sr3 we are using which is the latest available version right so let's discard it and i think the dependencies has completely downloaded so it is okay now so our project is ready okay so let me go ahead the config server application and this is the main application where our spring boot application starts right so what we will do we are going to use annotation enable config server right so this is the thing this is the annotation which makes your spring boot application as config server right so uh, you do not need to write any classes or something else for the for your application to work as config server right so apart from this we are going to create the application dot properties and we will mention some properties there so we have configured our spring cloud config server this part now go ahead create this git repository and then connect both of these right so go ahead and create the git repository where we will be putting the properties file okay this is the git repository uh, official uh, about green learner Uh, if you see, so I already have created one repositories for properties, which is uh, this cloud config props, right? So I have uh, put a uh, few properties here. Like if I show you application dot properties, right? So it has some properties. You note it, okay? Application dot properties, config server dot prop, config server dot properties, config prod, config properties. So these are for different purposes right so if it is prod so it is if you remember that there is concept of profiles so in different environments uh, you need different set of properties so if you are in test environment you are in prod environment so you can set the properties as per the profile so this hyphen prod 
it's showing that it is for production prod environment right and otherwise application of properties it is by default right so whatever is in there channel source name url it is there by default it will be there but if you are loading the prod properties that will be overridden and this will be loaded into the system right so if it is not environment specific application properties will be loaded then otherwise environment specific right so i hope i am clear here okay so this is, this is just the github and specific properties if uh, you want uh, i can show you the new one right so uh, it is the uh, like kind of requirement right so you need to have the properties in your uh, somewhere on um, uh, shared repository right so for our example we are using this github right so you can go ahead and create this repository anywhere on git repo and you what you have to do you just copy this path okay and you have to mention this location of this repository into your application which application this config server where inside this application yaml so let me go ahead and put this some properties here right so these are the few properties that you need here right so this is the server port uh, which is for the application itself otherwise is spring cloud config server git url so this is the url same url that you are seeing here right config props this one so any repository that you have it can be your own okay so try to understand this so this label this property is completely optional right so it is uh, i'll show you in a while by default it is taking you to the master repository right so if you have few branches right so master green learner zero one i have so by default whatever is in master it will pull that data right so it is the name of the application by which we will be accessing it right so let's go ahead and this is it uh, and one more thing how you are going to access the properties from the so config server library is exposing some endpoints through which i can access it right so let me explain that to you also so these are the service endpoints right so these are the this is the application name this is the profile and this is the label and these are the, one of these you can follow and see the data that are in the properties file right so we will see each one of these in way so uh, we are done here let me go ahead and start the application and show you the stuffs so this is it application is running on 8090 port right so let me go ahead and access the endpoints as per this convention right so application name profile and label application profile and this this way we can access that so local host Eight zero nine zero, and then name of the application that we have given, and for this is the profile as per the endpoint. So this is the name of the application uh, that is there. Okay, and then I have to mention the profile. So if I do not want to mention any profile, right? So uh, it means I want to access the default property. So let me go ahead and see this. So first time it is taking a uh, few times. So this is the data that you got, right? So let me format this one with the plugin that I have installed on the Chrome. So you can go ahead and install JSON View is the name of the plugin. So it shows you that this application. Right? So this is the name of the application config server that is coming here, right? So that you have given here, right? So this config server name of the application is actually anything that you can give, right? So the client that will be accessing is that is the name of this application right so if i give one two three so it is not going to complain in here right so it is taking that also so if i show you this is the version information and this is the property so this is the important part here right so application properties it is showing you and the content here channel source youtube and this information which is same uh which is same as here right this one this one is showing you so label is showing here because we have not mentioned any label uh, on the uh, on here this yaml file right so that is why it is not and this is the default part so if i want to see the prod part so what it will show me so this is two things coming here property sources the default one is here 
YouTube free learner and all these stuffs and then application prod property is also being loaded and these things are overridden inside here channel source YouTube prod and green learner and this all these stuffs that you are seeing here right so if I go back and show you this prod stuff so it is showing me right so pretty good right so it is showing me so one more thing so it is statically showing me the properties that is there so what if I want to change the properties here and see that change here right so let me go one by one so i'm going ahead and changing the content of this prod so suppose i'm giving one two three prod one two three prod one two three right so let me go ahead and commit this so what is our expectation so i have changed the shared configuration right so it should reflect here also without even restarting a config server right so this is the expectation from config server so let me go ahead and refresh this page that's it so see defaults are same because i have not done any changes over there so this is the prod one two three and these stuffs that changes you are seeing right here right so we have just made changes about this so real time refresh real time config changes are being reflected right so this is clear so next thing uh, what if this is showing you the master right and what if i want to see the green learner uh, the specific branch right here uh, so one way you can mention here the name of the label uh, that branch name and it will pick that one by default right you have to mention that label here otherwise in the url itself you can mention the label right so if i go here and mention suppose i want to access default of whatever is there in green learner 0 1 right so under this branch what it is showing me application dot properties right so if i go here to this branch specific one right and i am going to default one application dot properties it is showing me due to custom green lander and this so this same information is coming here right and i can go ahead and access the prod details of this specific branch right so it is showing me here so this is the way you can access the data of particular branch because if you are not mentioning anything by default it is considering the master one right so this was about this and this was about the name of the application and this this is the different endpoints that you can access right if i come to diagram we are done with this one right so we have created a config server and connected it to git repository and we are able to see the changes in real time next what is the real time use case of this we are going to create one service and we will point that service to this config server and we'll see the changes uh, that are being made here in git repository through config server to service one right so this real time change this is the actual use case right so this thing i'll explain it in the next video till then take care bye bye